Honorable President of India, Honorable Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, dignitaries on the dais, Honorable Members of Parliament, Ministers from the State Governments, Award winners, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor and privilege for me to welcome the Honorable President of India, who has very kindly taken precious time out of his busy schedule to grace this function. The entire MSME fraternity is grateful to you, sir, for your encouragement and support. The national awards were instituted in 1983 to recognize and felicitate outstanding performers in the MSME sector in the areas of entrepreneurship, research and development, and product quality. I am happy to inform that a new category has been introduced from this year to honor outstanding achievements in the field of innovation. The awards are also being given to outstanding achievers in Khadi, village industries, and choir sector. In addition, public sector banks are also being recognized for excellence in MSE lending and lending to micro enterprises. The total number of awards in today's function are 108, including 39 from MSME sector, 45 from Khadi and village industries, 18 from choir industries, and six from public sector banks. Sir, the micro, small, and medium enterprises have continued to show resilience and vibrancy even during difficult times. The sector is not only growing faster than the larger industries, but its capital labor ratio is also lower. No wonder the sector's growth is almost synonymous with the objective of inclusive and balanced growth for our economy. The Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises has been providing a comprehensive range of services to the sector, ranging from training and hand-holding support to credit, marketing, and technological support. We are continuously following up with the Reserve Bank of India to achieve the year-on-year -year growth of 20% in credit flow to the MSME sector. Sir, as you know, this was an important recommendation of the Prime Minister's Task Force on MSMEs. You will be happy to know that more than 10 lakh micro and small enterprises have so far benefited under the Ministry's Credit Guarantee Scheme. In a global economy, technology has become a critical factor for sustainability and growth of MSMEs. I am happy to say that our National Manufacturing Competitiveness Program, NMCP, which seeks to introduce the best elements of industrial competitiveness to the MSME sector, has started receiving good support in various clusters. Enterprises have benefited from interventions such as those of lean manufacturing, design development, quality and standards, ICT applications, intellectual property right awareness, and energy conservation. The ministry has so far undertaken over 700 interventions in various clusters spread over 28 states and one union territory under its flagship scheme, Micro and Small Enterprises Cluster Development Program. To bring the Indian MSMEs closer to the global market, we continue to support their participation in world fairs. The NSIC has launched a B2B business to business website, which already has a database of over 2,50,000 Indian MSMEs. Sir, entrepreneurship and skill development remains a pri priority area for the government. The ministry has been constantly upgrading its 18 tool rooms and technology development centers, which are providing training in high tech areas to cater to the technical manpower requirements of the industry. The ministry is also planning to establish 15 new tool rooms in the 12th five-year plan to meet the growing demand for trained manpower in our industry. 
together with the program of other institutions, namely the Development Commissioner's Office, the Khadi and Village Industries Commission, Choir Board, NSIC, and the three national level training institutes of the ministry, we will be achieving an overall target of training 15 million persons by the year 2022. Our Khadi institutions, numbering nearly 2,300, continue to support our rich heritage and provide employment to more than 10 lakh artisans, including spinners and weavers. The ministry has been continuously striving to strengthen the functioning of these institutions through implementation of new schemes such as market development assistance, interest subsidy, eligibility certificate, ISEC, worksheet scheme, Janashri Bhima Yojana, and others. It is planned to considerably upscale support to the Khadi and village industries clusters by covering nearly 850 of them with financial and technical support during the 12th plan. It is a matter of satisfaction and pride that during 2011-12, the export of our choir and choir products reached the level of 1,053 crores against a projected target of 850 crores. During 2012-13, that is the last year, exports are estimated to have surpassed last year's, the previous year's level. Sir, as the world shrinks and becomes a global village, sustainability and growth of our MSMEs would depend on their ability to think out of box and to innovate. You would be happy to know that the ministry is in the process of setting up an India Inclusive Innovation Fund to support and stimulate the process of innovation through MSMEs. I'm grateful to the Honorable Minister for MSME for his vi valuable guidance and support. His vision and missionary zeal has been a constant source of inspiration to the entire sector. I also greatly appreciate the keen interest taken by the state governments and various stakeholders, including the industry associations, in reaching out to the enterprises in different parts of the country and interfacing with the ministry. Before I conclude, I once again express my deepest sense of gratitude to the Honorable President for, for his gracious presence in this national awards function. And I also congratulate all the award winners for their outstanding contribution and achievements. Thank you. Honorable President of India, Sir, Dignity Sandy Das, Award Winners, Representatives of Print Electronic Media, Honorable Members of Parliament, Ministers of the representing from the states, officers, and my ministry, ladies and gentlemen, today's a glorious day for the MSCM of India, we have the honor of the presence of the President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, to facilitate the award winners from MSME fraternity. Sir, your presence and encouragement will motivate India's MSMEs to reach a newer heights in the days to come. Your words of guidance will be the pathfinder for the MSME of India. Sir, the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises honors the top achievers of MSME sector by conferring the national awards annually to recognize their outstanding contribution to the MSME sector and encourage innovative entrepreneurship. The MSME sector contributes around 9% of the GDP and account for the around, accounts for around 45% of the manufacturing output and 36% of the total value of exports in this country. This is a sector of 3.64 thriving enterprises employing over 8 crore persons 
The sector has been growing consistently about 10 percent for the last five years, and the growth has been about 18 percent during the 2011 and 12 in terms of filing of the entrepreneurship memorandum. Sir, my ministry is implementing a number of schemes and programs for assisting the development of MSME sector, including the Kadi village industries and car industries. Sir, Kadi and village industries are not only our rich heritage, but they also occupy a unique place in our rural economy, employing about 1.30 crore persons. Mahatma Gandhi has mentioned, I quote Kadi, is the son of the village solar system. The planets are the various industries which can support Kadi in return to the heat and the sustains they drive from it, unquote. Sir, my ministry has launched a, a comprehensive Kadi reform and development program with an assistance of Rs. 750 crore to directly benefit as many as 300 Kadi institutions in the first phase for enhanced the sustainability of Kadi increased employment, income and welfare of the artisans, further a new identity of Kadi in the forum Kadi mark is also being introduced so that such products guaranteed of the purity of Kadi. Under the leadership of Desaiji is a Gandhian who is working very hard for the development of the Kadi as a chairman. The Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program launched in 2008-9 is the flagship program of the Ministry of Creating the Productive Employment for the Unemployed Youth and Traditional Artisans. 1.85 lakh enterprises that have been assisted under the PM EGP till date are mostly first generation entrepreneurs, thus making the process of industrialization more inclusive in nature. Sir, I am very happy to share with you that we have decided to set up 100 new enterprises in every district of the country. It's uh, 650 districts in this country. Every year, under the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program, my ministry has allocated over rupees 8,000 crore in the 12th plan under the PMEGP to set up about 3.39 lakh enterprises which would create 27.12 lakh employment opportunities. Sir, you would be happy to know that my ministry is the process of setting up an advisory committees for a PMEGP in every district under the chairmanship of the member of parliament, Lok Sabha, with representation from a legislative assembly, Panchayat Raj institutions and other stakeholders to guide the implementation of this popular scheme. Kair industry under the leadership of Balachandranji is a master for the development and a new unit is reached. From his leadership, I think Balachandranji is also present here. Labor initiative export oriented agro based industry spread over 14 coconut producing states. There are around 7 lakh workers engaged in the production of coir and coir products in the country, with about 80 percent of the workers employed being women. I am happy to mention that the coir board has been constantly diversifying and developing new generation products to cater to the needs of the export market. During the last year, the export of the coir and coir products reached the level of rupees. 1053 crores under the scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries. Focused approach has been adopted for the development of traditional industries of Akadi village, car industries through cluster developments. The Spurti scheme has been scaled up to cover 800 new clusters with an allocation of 850 crores for the 12th plan period. Likewise, my ministry is now focusing the cluster development program through soft, hard and infrastructure development intervention in uh, industrial clusters. Sir, my ministry is conducting a skill development program for the entire value 
chain of manufacturing starting from village industry to start village industry to state of the art manufacturing during the 11th plan my ministry has trained 15.87 lakh persons through its various institutions in the 12th period 12th plan period my ministry has planned trained 42.65 lakh youth through the national level training institutions other field officers like msme dic tool rooms nsic etc the 18 tool rooms and technology development centers under the ministry are providing both long and short term training to nearly 1 lakh youth annually at a present in tool making computer aided manufacturing and other advanced technologies that i am happy to inform that the recently government has announced in the budget 2013 to set up 15 tool rooms with a world bank assistance of 2200 crores during the 12th plan sir to facilitate the enhanced participation of msme in a public procurement government has notified the public procurement policy for msme in 2012 under the policy in a period of 3 years 20% of the government and public sector procurement has to be sourced from micro and small enterprises again with a focus on inclusive 